So physics teachers always telling you that all objects experience the same acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. They all fall at the same rate. But everyday life experience tells us something different. We know, for example, I have a white fluffy piece of styrofoam and a penny here. We know the penny's going to hit the ground first. Feathers, for example, you know, they flip, you know, go like this to the ground. Why is that? Well, it's something called air resistance. Let's do the experiment before we go any further. You can see the penny clearly hit the bottom way before the piece of styrofoam. And you're like, wow, big deal. That's what I notice in my everyday life. Why is your physics teacher telling you something different? Well, in the absence of air resistance, they'll both hit the, hit the bottom at the same time. That is, both objects do feel the same acceleration of gravity, but when there's air in the tube, the air resistance provides an upward force, and that force is greater on the piece of styrofoam, because it's less massive, than it is on the penny. And I'll prove it to you. Let's suck the air out of the tube, and when we do that, then they should both hit the bottom at the same time. Because now there's no force of uh, drag in the upward direction. So there's only the downward force of gravity, and thus they should have the same acceleration exactly. So here we go. It's a little hard to see. But let's show it one more time that they are hitting the bottom at the same instant. You know what? Oh, that time the styrofoam got caught. Let's check this out in slow mo. Great. So you probably noticed that the penny did slightly beat it. But the reason is, is I didn't suck all the air out. I just got most of it. So let's do a comparison in slow-mo with the air out so you can compare the two. So, so now I will let the air back in. And let's go back to, to slow-mo and I'll show the same thing. Finally, if you're still not convinced, here's a demonstration you can do at home. So I take one book, one piece of paper, and I drop them. Clearly the book hits the ground first. Now I claim, as your physics teacher claims, both experience the same acceleration of gravity, absence the effect of air resistance. So one thing I can do is I can reduce the drag force, that is the force of the air resistance, by crumpling up this piece of paper. And now, if I drop them, you see they hit the ground at the same time.